Hey guys, it's Luke here and welcome back to another video. You join me today for yet another modification video on the Art Car M140i. As you can see today, we're here at Motec, but not the Motec which you and I both recognize because this is their brand new HQ. It's a lot better, a lot bigger, and I'm really excited to finally uh, pop on down here. So we'll catch up with Mike as usual a bit later on in the video. He'll give us a run around, uh, basically run through exactly what we're doing today. Um, but in terms of the modifications roughly which we're doing today is something which I have definitely neglected in terms of uh, things to do on this car. We've done power, we've done looks, we've done sound partially. Um, we haven't really done anything about handling and stability. Yes, we have the BMW M Performance Limited Slip Diff, and we also have the Motec Stance Plus lowering springs, but that is kind of it in terms of the handling and stability. The 140s and the 240s, the M lights, shall we say, are criticized quite a lot for how they handle and how they are just a bit spongy and just not quite there compared to say a full on M car, obviously. Um, so there are a few things which you can do. Um, LSD is one of them, which is of course already on the car. There are a few other little things which you can do, which is basically what we're gonna be cracking on into today. We're not doing a complete uh, handling overhaul. There are still some things which I wanna do in the future, but today we're making a big dent in things and uh, it's gonna make a huge, huge difference to how this car drives. So uh, yeah, all very exciting. We'll catch up with Mike in a moment have a walk around the new unit before getting this thing on the ramp and getting started with the work. Okay, so we're joined once again with Mike here at Motec. It's good to good to catch up. Been I know, although while. I did see you not long ago at yep. the Auto ID show. Yep, yeah, no, it's good. Not, not we did speak long. about this. Yeah, we did. Well, this has been something which we've been on about doing for a while. Yes. Um, and also for me to come down and visit your new place as well. Yeah, well, we've been speaking about it, but we wanted to be able to get in the unit and show yeah. you around. So yeah, this is a big thing for us, but we'll have a wander around and show you, yeah. maybe try and make yeah. you spend some more money. <laughs> well, it's gonna be very tempting because <laughs> it looks awesome in there. Um, so yeah, like we mentioned in the intro, I kind of have neglected the kind of stability and handling aspect yeah. of the car. We've got the M Performance Limited Slip Diff on the car, yep. which did make a huge difference. And we've got actually quite a few uh, Motec little bits and bobs here, like the intake, the springs, uh, yeah. and so on and so forth. Um, but we've got some more goodies here. Yep. I can't help myself. Um, so yeah, give us a bit of a run round of basically what so we're So your car was originally, originally came to us with, we did Stance Plus Springs yep. and 250mm spacers. You mm -hmm. took the spacers off because when you're changing the wheels after a different offset, spacers aren't always needed. Yeah. That's most people's core. That's where they'll sort of finish. And it's, that's enough for very fast road use. But now you're sort of going that extra bit further, like we just seen you at Goodwood. <laughs> um, this stuff really starts to come into its element. Um, underbody bracing and top strut bracing. This is where that car is quite weak and it's quite mm. one series-esque. Yeah. This kind of moves it a bit more towards the M's. Mm. You look underneath an M2, they're covered in bracing underneath, yeah. you know, so we're just gonna add a bit more to make the car a bit more rigid. Um, this is actually a replacement for the 240i. Okay. So yep. we have to fit some genuine BMW arms to put this in place, because mm -hmm. obviously these aren't designed to have the underbody brace, but you can retrofit it. Yeah. So we'll be fitting that. The top strut brace is nice and easy. Maybe you want to take it off to color code it. Yeah, I'm thinking, because it, it just comes in a neutral color, doesn't it? Yeah, it's yeah, just, they only come in do... white. They're powder coated white, yeah. But I'm thinking maybe estrial blue to match the custom engine cover. But again, it's easy to take off. Of course, so although you've actually got quite a lot of white on it, so. True, yeah. I mean, for the time being, when you've got the bonnet open and you've got kind of the white stripe going down the, the yeah. wing there, it'll probably work out quite well. Yeah. Um, it's, um... But yeah, no, it's, it's not really going to look much different after today because with the dampers as well, yeah. it's not going to be any lower or anything. It's just going to be how it drives. So right at the end of the video, we're going to take it for a drive swing it around some roundabouts or something to see what it's like. Completely. The dampers are really <laughs> going to start to transform the car when yeah. you're on the limit. It's to be able to control the first bump. So if you're going mm. around somewhere and you hit a bump quite quickly, it's about getting it settled as quickly as possible for the second bump. Yeah. Standard dampers don't do that very well. A standard height, you're even lowered. Yeah. So dampers are your next thing. Running the B8s because you're not running adaptive. Mm -hmm. yep. So it's a shortened piston bump stop already built into the damper. So yep. it's all lovely, ready to go. But yeah, just retrofit these in place. Like I say, the car will look Perfect. the same. Yeah. So I'll have to stay to the end of the vlog. Yeah, <laughs> to, to see how it drives. Yeah, exactly. No, I'm really looking yeah. forward to it. Because I've done nearly 15,000 miles in the car now, so I, I know it pretty well. Yep. 
I've obviously driven it in, in all the different stages of its life, um, but I think handling is, is going to make a huge difference. With the power that we're running, yeah. with the noise that it makes, it just needs to be a bit more Just firm. a bit more sort of stable. When you have that stability, yeah. especially on track, it gives you more confidence. More mm. confidence means you're going to be quicker. That's exactly. what it's all about. Yeah. I mean, the limited slip diff, when I got that installed, I mean, that just completely changed it. Well, that bridges the gap again a bit closer from exactly. an M140 to an M car. Yeah. So yeah, exactly. all these little add-ons are just pushing you a bit closer, which yeah. is really good. Yeah. No, awesome stuff. So I think before we get the car inside and into the workshop, I think we need to have a little wander around because yeah, this place is looking epic. Yeah, perfect. Let's have a little look. So before we go anywhere, we do need to speak about these. Yes, so <laughs> this is a Kronos wheel uh, and these are M140 fitment. Okay. <laughs> so he's running a 9J, so you can see the dish on this one. This yep. is the rear wheel um, and an 8 front. It's quite mm. a modern looking wheel. Yep. M140 owners tend to only go for one or two styles, but yep. this is something a little bit different. The fact it has that dish, yeah. it really, really does make it the like car look a bit more modern. hollowed out sections as well. Yeah, it's quite suppose. modern. They seem to be doing this on a lot of the brand new mm. M, you know, M wheels. Yeah. I think BMW have done the new M performance wheel for the G80s and it has mm. lots of cutaways, so that's why we're a big fan of this. It's yeah. a cast wheel, but by taking a lot of it out, it's quite light as well. Mm. So maybe that's quite an option. Yeah, well, that's the reason why we're kind of focusing on this is because the wheels which I run on the car at the moment yeah. are great wheels, absolutely love them, but I've had them on the car for quite a while and I do want to kind of change it up a bit, but the thing with wheels is- Like a make or break a car. It's such a big part of a car. Yeah. Um, and yeah, I definitely want to change, yep. but I've got an idea of kind of roughly what I want, but just trying to find the, the right one. So maybe we can do some test fits or something. Yeah. Maybe yeah. off camera, um, we'll, have a, we'll have a look and uh, yeah. Maybe, definitely go for these. Yeah. I maybe mean, spruce it up, maybe doing bronze maybe. Yeah, well I've got some ideas in terms of finishes, but they look really cool. But yeah, I don't think I'll go gloss black, put it that way. Love the video. <laughs> yeah, definitely. After you, bud, go definitely. to the right on the lounge. Right, we're going to make a beeline to the lounge, which is a very Motec-esque area, which looks epic. Yeah, we're kind really of proud of how this Similar almost to like the last place, but just amplified. Yeah, we didn't do anything wrong in the last place. No, we exactly. were always just strangled with room. Hmm. Um, but this, as cars get newer, as you can see, there's an X4M on the ramp. Yep. People are here a lot longer. You true. Know, things yeah, are here true. when you're here and you travel. Yeah. You take a day off to give part of the experience, just give mm. back a bit. But yeah, what a lovely place to be. This is as nice as most people's living rooms or man caves or yeah, whatever you can see the cars yeah, outside lovely. in the car park and obviously all the goodies that you've got here, there and everywhere as well. Yeah. Awesome. And then a whole load of wheels down there as well. Yeah, we'll talk about those as well. <laughs> very, very nice. Speaking of wheels, I do need to yep. show you our own new Motec MW run wheel on our 135i. Ah, yeah, we'll the legendary that. M135i. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> we'll have a little look at that in a minute. But yeah, I think there's a few other places which we can we can show around. Yeah, of course. Cool. We'll get the car way. inside. Yep. yep. And uh, yeah, we'll, we'll kind of get cracking. So this is what we call workspace. This is something new. And obviously with COVID and stuff, a lot of people are now working from home. Yep. So to take a day off is quite a... Uh, thing you probably have to swallow to take a day off to come through a car <laughs> yeah. park. So Saturdays for us just book up, well, like eight, nine weeks Saturdays yeah, booked yeah. up all the whole time. But this means you can come here and work from here, which is close awesome. the door. So yeah. if you've got an office phone, you need to Zoom call, you're in there, Wi-Fi code, Perfect. off you go. So we just lock people away. That works really well, but what we're yeah. actually gonna do is take you around to show you our detailing back. Yeah, that's something very new. Is that all right, yeah? Yeah, yeah, let's go and have a look at that. Perfect. Um, this actually starts in July, so we're filming late June at the minute, so Martin's yeah. not actually in today. But with the detailing bay, as I'm sure you know, but a lot of your uh, viewers might not know, we do a lot of work with BMW. Mm -hmm. So they're always dropping off a brand new M135i. The fact that obviously we're G-Technically accredited means we can offer ceramic coating on new cars as well. Mm -hmm. And then people come here for the handover. Perfect. The other thing, these are actually going out. So the other thing that we're gonna start doing as well is offer ceramic coating on parts. Oh, perfect. So we have an X3M carbon front splitter that we're gonna fit yeah. next week, he wants a ceramic coating. And then another customer of the M135i wants his towel nice. parts doing as well. So yeah, again, if you're buying wheels, we can ceramic coat them before you have them fitted yeah, or yeah. mail ordered out. So that's what this room's for. Mm -hmm. um, and then obviously the floor's quite nice. So we'll just take a picture yeah. of the next job after you, which is a V8 Mustang exhaust. Nice. So Bit of everything. Yeah, it's not just BMWs here, is it? No, no, no. People aren't <laughs> known for doing BMWs, and that is 95% of the business. Yeah. But yeah, Mustangs, GTIs, mm -hmm. C63s, Golf Rs, doing it all really. But yeah, BMW yeah. throughout really. Yeah, yeah. Awesome. Now, I mean, this place is so much bigger than the last place, isn't it? Rooms upon rooms upon yeah. rooms as you just walk around. I've not yeah, been taking upstairs yet to the offices and stuff. And double the ramps as well. Yeah, I mean, so we have actually, huge. yeah, if we come through. So this is the Mustang exhaust here? Yeah, it's the Mustang exhaust. So this is a valved exhaust system. Um, nice. But the original Mustang isn't valved, so it's have a Bluetooth controller. So ah, you can okay. have it yeah, yeah. as both loud. And the good thing about Remus is 25%, 50%, 100% open. Yep. So you can adjust it. It's on cold start, close the valve. Nice. Works no, open well. it, annoy the neighbors. All the noise, exactly, yeah. <laughs> but no, the bays work out quite well. Yeah. I think we're just going to finish off this X4M. Yeah. Jay's just bringing your car in now. Here it is. It's very rare that you see your own car on the move. It does look cool. But yeah, what do you guys think about the changing of the wheels? I think it's something which is long overdue. Wheels change, do you reckon? Wheel change? Yeah, yeah 100%. Yeah, it needs definitely. to be done. It needs to be done. 
Looking epic in here though. Awesome. All right, I think we get these goodies installed. Yes, put it on the ramp and then go from yeah. there. Perfect, let's do it. So whilst bits are going on in the workshop, we thought we'd just show you the, the legend, the OG. <laughs> I, I do need to give this to you one day, but I'm not making excuses. Every day there's a reason. So we've just <laughs> fin finished filming our own video. This is our own wheel. So we're just yep. launching this wheel um, and the car has got to go back in to be finished. Ceramic coating, we've done half of it. Mm -hmm. Joys of video, we've got to get it back in. <laughs> um, this wheel is exclusive to us. So to start with, it is going to be M135i, A35 Mini, Golf R, Golf GGI yeah, fitment. Yeah. Um, quite a unique wheel. Yeah, again, like I was speaking in there, it's still a cast wheel, but with obviously the, the spokes cut out to make it slightly lighter. Yep. Our own unique center cap, and of course the MW1 logo as well, just etched in there, but quite nice. But they look awesome. good on the car. It's, they um, suit it really well, actually. Yeah, white's well, always a tricky car to put wheels on, especially yeah. with the gloss back, because yeah. it looks hidden. Mm. But, you know, um, on a black car or a gray car, they yeah. look amazing. We've already sold about four or five sets, and they're on the water, awesome. so someone's interested. Yeah. Let us know. <laughs> but Perfect. yeah, it's nice to have something exclusive again to us, yeah. you know, with the yeah, springs yeah. and now going onto the wheels as well. But yeah, they look pretty good. But okay. should we go and show them something else as yes, well? Yes, there is something, a bit of a surprise actually, something yeah. very special, which is literally just around the corner. So we'll have a quick look at yeah, that as well. We'll have a quick look at that. So here we are. This is this a familiar is building. Tree. Yes, it is. This is your old building, is it? <laughs> it is, yeah, it is. <laughs> really so, weird to see it all kind of different. It is, yeah. As obviously Nick's work on the car, we thought we'd just show you the Liberty yeah. Walk Supra. Um, we were part of the build of it. We did the Remus exhaust. Uh, if you want to see more of that, you have to follow our channel. Yeah, yeah, for sure. But I thought I'd obviously just show you this. It's pretty special. Not many people have seen it yet. <laughs> it's only just nuts. been launched, isn't it? But when I sit in that picture on WhatsApp, you can't see how wide this thing is. Yeah, exactly. So I mean, it's pretty it's, special. Uh, the wheels are a bit aggressive, obviously, with the color. I mean, these are the type of wheels which you're only going to get away with with on this a Liberty kind of car. Build car. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. But Liberty Walk really suits the Supra. It really does. It's a good-looking car, it? isn't it? I mean, yeah. that wing yeah. at the back. Yeah. Yeah, it's very JDM, epic. very, yeah. maybe should have painted orange and done a Fast and Furious rep, I don't know. <laughs> but it works well in the factory, obviously, yeah. uh, white, but yeah, the wheels are aggressive, but it is obviously it's an air ride, so it's, yeah. it's dumped out. Well, look at the boot build on the back. Yeah, it's impressive. Behind all the stickers. It's that is a done. serious setup. So this is the carbon pack with the carbon wing mirrors, yeah. intake on the headlamp. Yes, that's cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So and this is stage two with an OPF removal, so it's about 500 horsepower as well, I think is 480. Really? Yeah. Headlight removal. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, Mental. as you can see, there's lots of exciting things going on here. Maybe Luke should come back and do a day with these guys with their Definitely, Yaris yeah. and some other bits and yeah, bobs. Yeah, for sure. But... Yeah, and there's lots of goodies around, but this is mental. Yeah, it's special, isn't it? Yeah. Absolutely mental. So if you want to see a video of this, let me know down in the comments what you say to stage two, 500 horsepower. Yeah, stage walk. two, 500 horsepower, uh, eight, eight piston forge calipers. Yeah, look at these. Um, one off custom anodized wheels, air ride. Yeah, it's an aggressive, aggressive car. Mental thing. Well, thanks for showing me. That's right, no problem. Let's awesome go back to see what yours are doing. Yes, definitely. Okay, we're back we to are. a non Liberty Walk car. That was awesome, that car. It's nice to see it, isn't it? Yeah. It's just trying to gauge, obviously, what they actually look like. You know, some people exactly. love it, some people hate it, but it's a talking point. Mm. We're talking about it, so yeah. it works. Yeah, definitely. Um, Nick smashed it out again, yep. you know, done stacks of these. Uh, B8 dampers along mm -hmm. with your stance plus springs. Um, these don't run a bump stop, you can't really sort of see still when you dust cover. Yep. But it doesn't run a bump stop, it has an internal one, it's twice the size of the piston. So this is going to feel so more sure footed mm. and it's going to correct itself so much quicker. So when you hit that bump, it's going to correct itself really quickly for the second bump. Yeah, yeah like I said, giving you more stability. Rears are already done as well, they're yep. not quite an easy job. Front's obviously got to take the front spring out as well. Um, let's just have a little look underneath for the yes. big white underbody brace. Don't mind all the wheels and everything. Yeah, everywhere. mind everything. Under here, it's actually quite a big. It's quite a big unit, actually, yeah. So yeah. you have normally, it's the black plate just across here. Okay, uh, yeah, yeah, factory, I remember that. Which is actually behind you now. So as you can see, there's the M240i uh, oh, yeah. cups that just go underneath there. So the M240s actually have an underbody base from factory. Mm. So this is an upgraded part from Ultra Racing to replace the factory bum. Yeah. But of course, you can retrofit it to, to the back of this. So um, you'll never really see it, but it is a lot bigger than the, yeah. the M240i Yeah, when it's actually on one. the car, it, it yeah, does... Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and it kind of puts all into proportion, um, really. Looking like where you live, that'll be brown very soon. Yeah, yeah, country <laughs> roads, it could be an yeah. absolute state of that. Definitely. I've just seen no, your no. front disc and pads, so we need to have another conversation Yes, we do. That was that um, good my one. bad. No, 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 <laughs> all your good, should I say. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was a good fun day, that. Yeah, perfect. But uh, yeah, rears are all done. I think the top race is already done. Top's already done, done. Well. just put the wheels um, onto it, we'll bring it down, and then, uh, yeah. yeah, we'll go from there, get it out, and uh, see what you think. Then I can take it out for a drive. You can indeed. Lovely stuff. Here 
It is. Mike's has been out on a road test, make sure everything's all right. <laughs> Love this car, wicked. Well, there we go. My first time here at the new Motec HQ. We've got a few new extra goodies, but I think in order to really get an idea of what's been done, I need to take it out for a drive, see how it kind of drives and handles now. So I think we'll, uh, we'll say goodbye to Mike, get everything sorted, buttoned up, and then uh, we'll be on the road back home with some more goodies on the 140. Now it seems trying to film this video during rush hour on a Friday is probably not the best idea, but we'll give it a go. We've got quite a long drive home, <laughs> so I'm sure we'll find something to test it out. In fact, we've got a little roundabout here so we can swing it around here or something. Um, but always a pleasure to, uh, to catch up with the guys from Motec um, and great to see their new place as well. A massive step up from the previous place, which is already pretty cool, um, but yeah, awesome stuff. And uh, yeah, like I said, always good to catch up with with Mike and the guys. Um, oh, we're gonna get out of there? No, okay. Traffic is an absolute nightmare. Oh, crikey, yeah. Bloody hell, it's like it's on rails. Excuse all the racket in the back. I've got some, uh, well, I've got the original parts in the back and also a splitter for a mate of mine. Um, but yeah, that is, that is night and day. It's so much more rigid around the corners. And yeah, I know that was literally just going around a roundabout, so definitely not uh, exploiting it to its full potential. Back in traffic again, typical. Um, but, but yeah, maybe in the future, I'll do like a specific video of just taking it out for a proper drive, some of my favorite roads. But it's so, Christ. <laughs> Now, I'll be honest, I'd like to be able to put it to the test a little bit more, but we're now on a motorway. So um, I think definitely I'll have to do a video in the future, taking it for a proper drive and um, seeing what it's really like. But as always, a massive thank you to the guys up at Motec. I'll put the links to everything which we've now got on the car in the description, uh, as well as all the details for Motec. Um, but I think for now, at least, seeing as we're on the motorway, and definitely not gonna get any corners. Um, we're gonna have to wrap it up, but I hope you guys have enjoyed. If you have, please do make sure you leave a like and make sure you subscribe for all the adventures still to come.